All attendees are in listen-only mode. Uh, good afternoon. This is uh, my name is John Otero, and uh, I do appreciate uh, your time today. I know your time is priceless, so for you to spend it with us, it's uh, I do appreciate it. Also, want to thank uh, Bob Sessler for for setting this up. Right now, you're all muted. Um, however, if you have any questions uh, during the process, um, go ahead and put those in the uh, question box or the chat box, and uh, we'll be glad to. Um, go over those at the end but I think by the end of this presentation which we're not going to be here long we're, we're going to try to keep this at um, 30 minutes at most um, but uh, if you have questions we'll be glad to go, to, go over those at the end of the uh, end of the presentation but uh, one of the things I'm in the uh, restoration industry for for 24 years um, 12 of those years I, I was I was done um, I was doing the work you're doing, so I understand the stress levels that you guys go through. I also do uh, CE classes um, around the country uh, for the past three years, and so it's been very interesting to pick the brains of the adjusters and the agents of what's going on from their their point of view. And uh, a lot of them um, are uh, really frustrated with uh, some of the documentation that we're not providing and I'm going to share with you uh, an interesting percentage that, that that I have learned about but I was talking to uh, one of the adjusters Michael with Nationwide Insurance uh, and he was saying that basically what they're looking for is validation to pay for the restores invoice now most of us will will do the work and, and we'll take pictures and we'll uh, give an exactimate invoice uh, but there's very little documentation going on. And that's really what they're also looking for, is they, they need to validate that the job is done. Is is the home or the commercial job back to pre-loss condition? And by providing um, documentation uh, on the flood job, then um, it's going to be easier for you to get your invoices paid uh, quicker. And that's what we are saying from some of our owners who have the remote field commander, um, the adjusters love the documentation, um, and they are noticing that their invoices are getting paid a little quicker than usual. Here's an interesting statistic. 70% of independent restoration companies do not provide documentation on their jobs. They'll give them an invoice, an exactimate invoice, but they're not providing documentation on the jobs. However, according to the um, franchise restoration companies, 85% of franchise restoration companies do provide documentation on their jobs, which I found fascinating. Um, and so that's one of the reasons, just one of the reasons why insurance uh, companies are uh, looking to use franchises because of their consistent documentation and that's very uh, important with them. What we're also finding from our uh, remote field commander owners is they're, they're getting less pushback um, from the adjusters. Um, they're providing the pictures, they're providing the documentation, the validation, the invoice, and they're actually getting less pushback uh, from the adjusters, which makes everybody's life uh, a lot easier. So what we're going to be talking about today is, is new technology to help you provide the documentation and validation for your jobs. Um, remote monitoring has been around or has, had been around for a little while, but then it kind of faded away. Well, one of the reasons was it was, it was too expensive um, and you had, you had to find a way of communicating the data. So knowing that, this has actually been almost a three-year um, process, a project, uh, to get this to where we're at now, and, and we've we've made this as simple as possible. First of all, let me tell you that the package itself is $2,298. Uh, previous, any kind of remote monitoring, you're looking over 4000 So the price point is very good. In addition, the, the way we're um, communicating the data to you is through SIM card technology, kind of like your, your cell phones. So this base station sits in the customer's house. There's a SIM card uh, inside the base station. 
that as soon as it's plugged into power, it communicates with the cell phone towers. So from your cell phone, iPad, tablet, computer, anywhere you have internet access, you can now see what's going on on your flood job. Um, we do not need Wi-Fi. We don't need telephone jacks, Ethernet cords, anything like that. This automatically communicates with, through SIM card technology, and that is one of the new things that we have not had uh, in the past, and that's why we've made this a lot easier for you. So the base station, again, sits in the customer's house. These are sensors. These sensors are tracking five different kinds of readings. They're reading, all five readings are exactly what you're looking for on your job. Air temperature, relative humidity, GPP, moisture content, as well as surface temperature. Now these are the remote power controllers. So what do they do? You plug this into an outlet, and you plug this into a um, air mover, an ETES, a DHU, uh, air scrubber, or whatever you'd like. And what happens is this power control will, will now control that piece of equipment. It does, it's not designed specifically for one brand. So any piece of equipment you want to use, you can. So from your cell phone, iPad, tablet, computer, you can literally turn on or off this equipment. Now, when the homeowner turns off the equipment, because you and I know homeowners love turning off equipment because it's too loud, it will send an email and text message to you letting you know what is going on at the house. Now, what's interesting is I've asked uh, uh, many adjusters across the country in my CE classes, do they think homeowners turn off equipment? And they absolutely know they do. What they don't realize is, let's say Mrs. Jones turns off the equipment at 10 o'clock at night and puts it at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's eight hours of downtime. Now, we're just talking using air movers and dehues. We're not talking E-tests, heat drying, anything like that. So from 10 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning, that's eight hours of downtime. So from 6 o'clock, it will literally take another six to eight hours for that evaporation process to catch up to when they turned off the equipment. So now they could be paying for up to anywhere from 14 to 16 hours of unproductivity, which to you guys, that's fine. But to them, they're wasting their money. Now, this is also a sales point to you. You're trying to take market share away from your competition. And most of the time, everybody's the same. We're all IRS, CRC certified. We're all 24-hour response. We all have the best technicians and the best training. So what separates you from your competition? Nothing right now. Now you can say, Mr. Juster, why are you using companies who do not know when their equipment is on and off? And it's costing you thousands of dollars in unproductivity for not knowing your equipment's on or off. Let me give you an example. We went and did a, a job for a re restoration company. And we... Uh, after they got done extracting the water, we set up all this equipment. And that was in the morning. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we got a call. I got a call from the restoration company, the owner. And he said, why did I get a text message regarding the DHU in the basement? And I said, well, that's because your DHU got turned off. He goes, wow, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Our guys were not going to go and uh, check out the job until tomorrow morning. So that, that DHU being turned off would have done nothing. Now, because he got an email and a text message knowing his equipment's off, now he went to the job site and uh, got it fixed. Now the sensors, these sensors, again, are tracking five readings. They're tracking air temperature, relative humidity, GPP, moisture content, and surface temperature. As long as one sensor is within 200 feet of the base station, this sensor could be within 200 feet of this one, and that data will piggyback off of each other. So you can go a far distance. So if you've got hotels, large commercial job, or anything like that, uh, you can go a long distance. Same thing on the power controllers. As long as one power controller is within 200 feet, of the base station, another power controller can uh, piggyback that data and turn on and off equipment. 
So again, the base station sits in the customer's house. We have these sensors around the house and the power controllers. Now, it, the package comes with six sensors, three remote power controllers. However, you can run up to 14 sensors on one base station and 14 power controllers as well. So you can get a lot of data um, for your jobs. One of the, uh, uh, we have a tracking form that we have here for example. Um, what will happen is your technicians will uh, take the sensors to the job, has a carrying case, each sensor has a serial number, and the guys are just going to write down what that, where that serial number is. So that's going to be in the north wall in the master bedroom. And then this sensor is going to be in the south wall in the master bedroom. He just writes this down, and then he takes it back to the office. Maybe he gives it to the project manager, and then the project manager can rename the sensors uh, for you so they know what's going on. Same thing on the, on the power controllers. So we've been talking about documentation validation. This is one of the reports um, that you will get on there. The graph is automatically designed for you and it's done. Um, the report literally takes two to three minutes to run the report. Um, we can add some notes. You'll have a job name, a file name, a start time, an end time. We can add pictures like you see here. Uh, obviously your company logo on there and this is what you're going to email um, to the adjuster. And so he has the documentation so we can see the readings of what's going on. Uh, we have the legend down below, but we also have some digital pictures that concords with the, with the graph. And again, you can do this uh, from, from your computer. The reports need, has a software program that's uh, absolutely free. You download it on your PC. Um, however, from your cell phone, iPad, tablet, you can see the readings, and I'll show you in a, little, in a little bit what it looks like for you. So you could be at your coffee shop, download the reports, get it to the adjuster, and the adjuster is right there, has everything that, that he needs. So that's one report. Another report that we have is, is a timestamp. So you can see on this timestamp, we have readings every minute. We can customize the report, though, and uh, change it maybe every 45 minutes, every two hours, three hours, whatever you'd like, and then you'll still get the, the data. So now you're going to get a graph and a timestamp. And that's going to give you documentation and validation of what was going on in the customer's house. Now the readings, the reports that you see here, cannot be manipulated or deleted. These are real-time readings. And when you submit these, you can let them know that these readings are third-party verified, um, which gives you more accreditation on the readings themselves. So let's uh, go live. As you can see, he's actually uh, got a cell phone, and he's checking the readings. Let's, let's go there as well. So let's go to remotefieldcommander.com. And uh, what's going to happen is you're, when you get your, when you purchase the RSC, um, they're going to ask you to register. So you just register um, here what's going on. Now when you purchase the RFC, because we're using SIM card technology, um, just like you use a cell phone, cell phone, there's monthly service charges. However, your service charge for the first year of using the Remote Field Commander is absolutely free. So you don't have to worry about anything. After the year is up, you have three options if you'd like to, to uh, use that. The first one is a $95 a month uh, data charge. It's, it's unlimited downloads, unlimited data every single month. There is no contract. You don't have to sign a year contract. Whenever you want to cancel, you cancel. If you want to pay a year in advance um, and not worry about monthly service charges, it's basically a $79 a month uh, charge and you're saving about $113 and then you just pay for the whole year and you're done. The last one is per use. So um, what there will be is a $20 a month um, uh, SIM card charge to keep it activated. So it's just $20 a month. And then $15 a day for only the days you actually use it. So um, in Xactimate, the code for remote monitoring is WTRRM. And that's 50 
five dollars a day for up to ten sensors. After ten sensors, you charge three dollars per sensor on that. And now what we're not saying is that you no longer have to go to Mrs. Jones' house. We're not saying that. We're saying usually maybe after day one, especially if you're just using air movers and DEQs, nothing's really changing in the first 24 hours. So you can go onto your, uh, onto your cell phone, laptop, computer, and take a look at the readings. And we'll show you how to do that right now. So you'll go to remote control. Uh, you get a username and password. We log in and then we're going to actually see what's going on. Now you can have multiple base stations, meaning uh, this is Mrs. Jones, Ms. Garcia, hey, Ms. Yes? Um, it's just a, at least I do, I just have a blank, a black screen. Uh, oh, okay, okay, let me go back to the PowerPoint. I think what's happening is, uh, uh, let me go back, let me do this. Let's, I think the internet's blocking the presentation. So I'm going to go to, how about that? Can you there see you that go. screen? Yep. Okay. Yep. So this is actually our software. And um, we're going to, uh, what's going to happen is you can, if you go to remotefieldcommander.com, it's going to basically look the same way. But right now what's happening is the internet's blocking my screen for you. So I'm going to go to the, the software, which is what you're going to need anyway. So once you log in, it's going to say uh, Remote Connect or USB Connect. If for some reason, which we've only had one customer in the country say they didn't get cell phone service, you, you could connect the laptop to straight to the base station. However, 99% of you is just going to do a remote connect. Now, on here, the base station, you can have multiple base stations, which is where I was kind of coming in here. Um, you can have a, a base station at Mrs. Jones, Ms. Garcia, Ms. Smith. We're going to see Mrs. Uh, Garcia's house. We're going to retrieve the data. And again, this is going to be similar to your cell phone or iPad or tablet or something like that. And then we can see what's going on in the house. We have the bathroom relative humidity, air temperature, surface temperature, moisture content, GPP. And then we can kind of scroll down and we see other readings of what's going on here. Now, we see that the living room DHU and living room air mover is on. It's very simple. We can actually go here and we're going to send updates and we're going to turn that off. And you'll see that the uh, equipment's going to go off here in a, a couple seconds. We can also put a timer on. Let's say the homeowner is like, now you can see our equipment's off. Simple as that. Now, let's say the homeowner is like, uh, you know what, uh, Bob? This injected dry thing in the kitchen is driving me nuts. This is so loud. Well, you can actually put a timer. Let's say it's going to be, you know, let's let's put 500 minutes. And what's going to happen is we'll do, we'll do 500 minutes, and it'll go 499, 498, 497, and then once it goes to zero, it'll actually put on the equipment so that you don't forget it in the morning or something. So it's got some different features on that. You can you could see that we're getting all five readings, right? So we have the uh, um, let's go back up here. So we have the bathroom one, two, three, four, five. And uh, what if what if you don't, you aren't you're not tracking surface temperature, right? Some of you guys aren't tracking surface temperature. So we're going to go up to setup system. We're going to we're not going to show we're not going to show um, surface temperature anymore. I'll show you how to do that. It's very quick. The, the more you, you play with the system, so what I'd recommend is when you purchase one, is set one up in, the, in your office, put one in the, living, in the office, put one in the warehouse, put one in the uh, break room, and have it turn on, on and off equipment, and it's very simple to use. So here's what's visible. What do I want to see on, on, this, on the screen? So we're just going to put, uh, we're going to take off surface temperature because a lot of you don't track surface temperature. And um, here we go. And for right now, we're going to take off uh, moisture content because there's the sensors are not uh, how you get moisture content. The reason why they're saying zero is because you drill screws into the sensors, into the sill plate, 
or drywall and, and the uh, screws create conductivity and that's how you get your moisture content reading on there. But we'll show you, now we're all set. So no, no surface temperature and moisture content. Now we're just looking at air temperature, relative humidity, and GPP. Uh, if you want to rename the sensors, I'll show you how to do that real quick. You can, uh, this, each sen sensor has a serial number. So we're just going to change this from a bathroom. We'll put den. And you have to make sure that whatever is on the, at the end of each sensor that has to match, right, surface. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm having some, uh, Bob, I'm having some issues hearing you. Bob, are you there? Yep. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. You're just kind of, it's kind of always breaking up a little bit there. Okay. I apologize. Let's see if we can uh, make that a little bit better. Is that okay? It's still kind of crackly. Okay. Let's, uh, let me check one more thing real quick. Sorry for the technical difficulties. How's that? It's so crackly. Okay. Well, we're almost done anyway. Um, so I, I didn't want to go through a um, a whole training process, but I did want to show you some of the ins and outs uh, of the system. Um, I'm going to type in my my cell number, and if you'd like me to do a one-on-one. -on -one webinar training with you and your staff so your staff can kind of see um, how this works. I'd be glad to do do that. We do have uh, video training uh, chapters where, where we would just email those to you and they're very quick chapter videos so you can go over it um, and anytime you need webinar support or online support I'd be glad to do that as well. Now your mic's fine again. All right, good. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so I uh, I hope I've answered uh, a lot of your questions that you have. Is there Bob? Do you have any other questions that maybe you that I didn't cover? Um, I don't think so. You know, I just wanted to mention everybody. This is you know certainly not may not be for everybody. Um, you know, it is. You know, to some of you, it's going to be quite expensive. But you know, you got to keep in mind. You know, most of you have just been through this freeze. Um, you know, and still going through some of it, where you may have, you know, you know, eight, ten, twelve jobs going at one time, and it's very difficult to get to each one every every day. And so, this is where that can come into place. Or some of you that have jobs that are very remote. Um, where you have to drive 50 miles or more, you know, 100 miles even to get to it, then this becomes um, quite beneficial. Um, and and I would guess you'd save your, you know, gas mileage, your your gas just on having this system. And again, I, you know, not encouraging that you don't go see the job, but there's cases where you can't get to it every day in certain circumstances. So that's what this system you know, partly is for, and then again, like John said, you know, you get paid, you know, have great documentation and be able to send that in and be above what the what the norm is and reporting to adjusters. Well, yeah, what we what we have, um, some of our research we've learned from some of our clients is that every time you leave your office to go um, do some reporting, um, you're spending anywhere from 75 to 150 dollars in gas and labor charges, especially if you're sending two guys out. Um, and, and so this data is going to give you everything you need at your fingertips without uh, leaving the office. Um, but again, we're not saying not to go in the jobs, but if you had a choice of a, a flood job came in and then a adjuster just says, I need the readings, well, instead of driving for an hour to go get the readings, you just go onto your computer, in three to five minutes you have all the reports that you need. Um, on there. So it just kind of gives you more options um, uh, on there. Doug's, one of Doug's questions is here, I'm not sure how it reads moisture content and wood. 
uh, and it does. And uh, I'll show you real quick here. Let's see if I can get this going here. So, uh, Doug, there's holes in these sensors. And what you do is you, you drill screws, uncoated screws, through these holes into the sill plate or the subfloor or the drywall. And screws create conductivity. And uh, the sensors have, have readings in there, and that will read the moisture content from the screws itself. You can actually do that uh, um, with uh, screws right now using a, a penetrating pins. So you use your penetrating pins on the screws, and that will create your, your conductivity so you can get your moisture content reading. But that's how the, the sensors give you moisture content reading on there. I hope that I explained that to you well enough, Doug, and kind of understand it. So yes, the, the, to answer your question, it does track moisture content for you. But I, uh, I do appreciate your time. We're at uh, basically a half hour, and like I said, I didn't want to make this longer than it had to. Um, it looks like we've answered all the questions. Bob, I really appreciate you setting this up for us. Uh, if there's any questions, please uh, call me. I'd be glad to do this live with your technicians. Price of the unit's $22.98, and you get uh, no monthly service charge for a full year on that. But uh, thank you again, for Bob, for or setting this up for us. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks a lot.